Welcome. E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is OGC here. Welcome to today's video. I'm super excited uh, because in the past I tried to go rockin'. I did not last very long as rockin'. I lasted, for anybody that remembers, maybe all of two days. So I need to give rockin' another shot. Um, even if it's not the best uh, right now, and even if this buff that's going through tonight isn't the best buff for rockin', I still want to try it out because I have done uh, pretty much every race except for Rockin'. Uh, so I, I've done Humans. Um, we have plenty of videos on Humans. Uh, Sylph, I've done Sylph quite a bit. Now I've uh, jumped back into Lich for the second time um, for a period of time. Uh, humans, uh, and, and I think everything else. Dwarf is the only other one that, uh, you know, I, I don't have a ton of uh, experience, but... I don't want to go Dwarf right now because I, I feel like that's just uh, jumping on the bandwagon uh, and I'm not all about that. So I think uh, it's time for OGC to start rocking the rocking. Uh, so <laughs> uh, we, we'll, we'll jump in. I'll show you what, what, I'm, what I'm working with uh, for right now. Um, so for right now, uh, I'm still holding on to all of my Warlocks just in case something happens. Uh, so I will have uh, 240 level 16 Warlocks. Uh, also for honor farming for, for myself, uh, going up against the 15.4 million walls, I can still uh, get way more honor doing 15.4 million damage than just stacking them with uh, silver catapults. That's just me. For the smaller walls, uh, definitely the catapults are better, but I'm going to hold on to the Warlocks uh, kind of... So I can do the both the walls and also if something goes bad with with the rockin, uh, I, I can always go back to Lich. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, next, uh, we're going to have a bunch of swordsmen. So um, I'll show you some more stuff on the swordsmen in in a little bit. And we also have uh, monks and crossbows. So I think that my favorite troops so far, and, and of course a, a Zen turtle, which I, ideally I want too. Uh, so far. I'm super impressed with the archers. Uh, the monks are okay, and uh, the samurais are uh, lackluster for me, just just because of where I'm at with them. But the archers so far seem amazing. So, uh, anyways, coming up with uh with with this new patch with with the shield and everything, I'm hoping to be able to get a decent shield out of the turtles. So I'll, I'll show you um right right now where uh where we're struggling a little bit. And the, the reason why we're struggling a little bit is because uh, our chakras uh, are horrible uh, for rockin'. So right now we don't even have um, we don't even have uh, rank thirteen uh, for the swordsman. So we're running with small packs. It's gonna be a few days before I can actually reset, and I'm gonna hold off on resetting until I, I kind of feel out rockin' a little bit and see if this is something I want to do for a little bit. But uh, yeah, we're, we're a little lackluster there. Um, I haven't even geared things up uh, just because. Uh, now the archers, I did throw on uh, some gear, but as you can see, this is uh, Lich specific. So I have I have not fully committed to rocking yet. Um, now the archers have fantastic chakra. So uh, these guys are actually uh, pr pretty strong overall. Uh, I'm super happy with them. Um, I, I, again, the archers are the ones that really kind of blow my mind the most. Uh, for the monks, um, the, the monks I, I also threw gear on and uh, they, they also have amazing chakra. Uh, when it comes to the stats and everything, um, they, they're, they're pretty good. And I was going with, so I've seen a bunch of people go with the dire ones because they'll get more critical after the, they do it with the flying kick. I'm kind of really liking the blue ones. So the blue ones, whenever they attack a... Um, a large or massive unit, I, I, I can pull it up for, for us, uh, they will uh, slow down the, the rate in which uh, they, they lose their moral. Um, so the Swift Staff uh, gains bonus attack speed and reduced moral decay speed when uh, attacking uh, large and massive enemies. It can sack. So they'll attack faster and also they're, they're going to be able to um, keep their moral and not just have a massive moral collapse. Now their their natural crit rate um, or the crit rate that's set up for for them so far is super low. So it would be really nice uh, to have the dire ones. They they essentially be doubling their their crit uh, crit rate. 
However, I think that uh, having them uh, not run away and not flee the battlefield is more important. Now, if you're going up against something like uh, humans or rockins, then you're probably not going to be using monks anyways. But it, say you're going up against um, a lich, if they're using scorpions, anything with dwarf or sylph, you'll definitely uh, you'll definitely benefit from from the monks. So I think the monks will, will help versus those. Uh, ninjas, I'm skipping all together. Now, if this new hero, uh, and we should have information on her by tomorrow, I'm hoping, if, uh, if if they come out and they're going to be super strong, then we might consider something with the ninjas. I can also reset my temple and get the ninja plus seven temple. Um, I'm not convinced. I'm not even thinking about that at this point in time. And now the turtle. Uh, the turtle, <laughs> I still haven't put gear on. Jeez, I'm such a noob. Uh, the turtle right now is super low as far as the uh, chakra. I think we'll be able to... Uh, where do we get more? Okay, so we're not going to get a giant uh, increase um, in, in health until uh, rank 13. But for right now, I have 3.7 million HP on, on them. Um, this is with no gear. So as I keep getting more plus four gears and I throw gears on the turtle, uh, the shield that's going to come out from the turtle is going to be just massive. Um, I'm predicting it's going to be like almost half of the, the health of, of my army. If that is the case, then I think Rockin might be good. If that is not the case and the shield is so minor that it doesn't even matter, uh, then I think Rockin will, will be a big flop, which is part of the reason why I'm not fully committing yet. Uh, I'm definitely uh, definitely considering everything, but I, I am not fully uh, committing at this point. Uh, now we do have, um, and I'll just do this portion very briefly. We do have some uh, decent rock and gears, which, which we'll, we'll go, uh, we'll be able to go into. I think um, this one right here, I, I, I'm most impressed with. These will be going on uh, the archers for sure, uh, because it has double troop accuracy, uh, which means that th they're just going to have a much higher chance of actually uh, hitting everything, and that is huge for for the archers. Otherwise, I don't really have any like ridiculously crazy rocking gear. It's mostly just the um, it, it's mostly just uh, the race bonuses. Like like these are just horrible. Um, as far as everything else. Uh, I can prote protect stuff, but uh, anyways, uh, oh, that's this dwarf. We should have another somewhat decent one. Maybe not. Maybe maybe they're all horrible besides uh, that, that one rocking one. Oh, increased troop attack speed. Uh, so <laughs> we do have the accuracy one, which will be nice onto the uh, archers. So even though the patch hasn't come out yet, I, I did uh, change already, and I had to try it out in dual towers. Now, I had some mixed reviews. Uh, some of the... Uh, some, some of the fights uh, I just did absolutely horrible. Uh, some of the fights I, I did amazing. Um, I think when uh, the next tower comes and I have uh, the, the buffs from, from the patch, then things will be a little bit different. But we can jump in and, and see like a, a, a fight or two. Um, I think probably the, the biggest uh, is going to be the, the dwarf. So we'll, we'll just jump in. We'll check this one out. So this guy has the... Uh, Six stars on the mechs, which is uh, pr pretty insane. Their dragon, they, they have the Azul dragon, and it is a perfect Azul dragon. Um, as far as status, I, I, I got magic and uh, might. Uh, we, we got some pretty pretty big damage. Uh, and you guys can see the archers. Uh, the archers did really good damage. So I got 41 million damage. The two packs of monks, uh, I mean, one did almost 40 million damage. The other did 15 million. Uh, Overall, they, they, they did pretty good. Now, the, the enemy did good damage as well. And even for the damage tanked, our, our pack of swords, which is not even Chakra 13 yet, uh, was able to tank more damage than uh, than the mechs. In fact, even our monks uh, did, did extremely well. Homemade Venti Ice Mocha. Uh, anyways, uh, let, let's jump in. Let, let's check this out. So... This is power side going up against power side, um, and I have two packs of archers up there. So my rationale in the the big benefit of of rock and I think is is their archers, and if I, I can do the piercing arrows and get back onto their uh, their snipers with it, which I'm failing to do right now, uh, then I I think that the archers are, are going to be huge. Uh, so. We're all kind of caught up in the top portion. It looks like we're actually starting to lose the top portion. I, I think I try and speed everything up on, on the bottom. 
They jump in with their Rufio. We put down the Earthquakes to try and slow them down. Um, right now, everything is kind of stalled out. Uh, we can see that our monks are actually doing some, some decent damage in that middle portion. Uh, but with the black holes out there now, it's, the black holes really interfere with the, with the ales. Um, but so far, we're, we're doing okay. Our dragon's out there. Dragon's taking some damage. We're starting, start, definitely starting to go down in this uh, in this top portion. Uh, all we really have left is our Belrog, which is a super tanky Belrog, by the way. Uh, bottom portion, we're, we're doing fine. We're actually, uh, we broke through some of the mechs and we're starting to wrap around. We, we still have plenty of monks alive to do so. Um, we're able to slowly take down the, the enemy's Azul Dragon, shockingly. Now, they're all hung up onto our, our Belrog, which is perfect for us because our Belrog is not going anywhere anytime soon unless they get some uh, crazy headshots, which they're fully capable of. This bottom side, we're, we're actually winning, uh, even though we, we aren't like focused down there too much. So... Overall, uh, pretty good. The dragon ends up uh, coming up and blowing up everything else, and we're able to uh, finish this person off. It, it, was, uh, it was a really good fight. It was a really good uh, test for everything, but not all fights go like that. Uh, we, we've been losing our, our fair share of, of fights. It's, uh, it has been back, back and forth. Um, it, it, it's pretty cool. I'm excited to, uh, I'm excited to, to check it out and uh, see where, where we end up. Um, I do want to see, uh, oh, Ch Chip must be on because he just jumped up. Uh, we're going to try out the Rockin. If it doesn't work, we'll, we'll go back to uh, Lich, although I have a reset, so I kind of want to do Dwarf. Um, I know, I, I don't want to be like that mainstream person, but I, I, I think Dwarf might be better uh, than, than the Lich. I don't know, I, or maybe Human. Who knows? But for right now, uh, our plan is to try out the rock, and we're not going to fully commit with the chakra reset until we can get some more testing done. And I think if we do reset, we're going to be focusing uh, chakra 18 on the archers, 15 on both the monks and the swords, uh, and then everything else into the turtle, which I don't think will be uh, 15, but it should be pretty close to 13. But anyways, that is our game plan coming up tonight. We're going to uh, hopefully uh, hopefully have a live stream uh, testing out some new uh, software stuff. Um, so feel free to come join us tonight during maintenance. Uh, I'll be playing Diablo 2, a wonderful game. And uh, we can just hang out and uh, chat, chill. Uh, feel free to bring your, your, your questions uh, to the live stream. I'll try and answer them as I farm uh, the, the Chaos Sanctuary. So with that, guys, uh, please uh, smash the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe. As always, there's a bunch of cool information in the description below. Go check it all out. And I will see you guys later on tonight during maintenance.